Why won't I focus? It's like it's focusing back and forth between me and the fan. There are so many settings. Where do I even start? Should I have even bought this? Welcome back. This is video 11 and it has been two weeks since I started using my Nikon Z30 camera. Today, I'm gonna share with you some pros, cons, where I am now, and if I would even buy this camera again. Hang in there. If you missed my first video, I will link it up here in the cards so that you can go back and watch my unboxing and see some of my favorite features from before I even used the camera. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. All right, so let's get into the pros. It's easy to use. You can turn it on, hit record, and you're good to go. I tend to make it a little more complicated on myself and I like to play with settings and press buttons and things like that. But it is simple as just turning it on, hitting record, and going to town. One of the pros is that you can stick with the automatic setting while you are learning. While you're learning about lighting, while you're learning about aperture, while you're learning about ISO. There's so much terminology and ways you can change the settings on these cameras. So take time and just stay in the automatic setting for a little bit. We recently had the most beautiful sunset and I wanted to take both video and still shots. It's as easy as switching a little switch on the back of the camera. It was fantastic. I could take some video, quickly switch, take a picture, switch right back to video and go on and the lighting was fantastic. It did a great job itself of reading how bright or how dark it was. Take a look at this video on this sunset so you can see kind of the switch of the lighting. Okay, now for the dreaded cons. This camera is brand new to the market. That means there are no YouTube videos really to tell me how to change the settings or what I can do to make things better or if I'm having this issue, what to do. So I'm just trying to take time by going to YouTube and Skillshare and just learning basic settings for ISO, aperture, and things like that and how to better light my films so that you can get away with not having to learn specifically about this camera just yet. Another con is until I learn more and take that time, I am dependent on the automatic settings, whether I like them or not, whether I like how it's producing or not. So keep that in mind. Another con is that there is a learning curve to the autofocus. I feel like if I'm not sitting just right, the camera wants to focus between me and the background object me back and it just kind of goes in and out. And so that's been kind of a learning process and I'm trying to take it slow and hang in there. When I ordered this camera, I ordered the creator kit as well. It comes with a microphone that attaches to the camera, a handheld tripod and a remote so that I can take pictures, start and stop the recording without ever touching the camera. Unfortunately, it's still on pre-order, which is a huge bummer for me. Now, where am I currently with this camera? I am still learning. I feel like every time I use this camera, I'm learning something new. Currently, I am relying on both YouTube and Skillshare to continue learning settings that I can adjust that are standard across similar cameras so that I can continue improving my videos. Now, the big question, would I buy it again? The first couple of days, honestly, no, I wouldn't. But as I sat there and thought about it, I took time to regroup and realize something really hard really fast. The biggest problem with this camera is user error. 
I was trying to rush in and hit settings and do all these different things and just trying to figure it out. I needed to take a step back, kind of learn some of the basics, learn more about lighting and framing and how better to improve my video quality without ever touching the camera. So I went back to just the automatic settings for now until I learn more about making a video and then I'll adjust the settings. So at this moment, yes, I would buy this camera again. And I think you should too. It's fantastic on so many levels. So there you have it. There's my thoughts on this brand new camera. I will continue making these videos as I learn more and kind of share with you my settings once I get to that point. But for now, here it is. Thanks for watching today's video. In my next video on Tuesday, I will be sharing with you my review of my Dyson V15 vacuum. I promise it's a good one. I'll see you then. Bye!